we call this question the spherical snowball. We have a snowball that is in the shape of a sphere. So we look. And the first part of the question says, the snowball is melting at a rate proportional to its surface area. That is, the rate at which the volume is decreasing at any instant is proportional to its surface area. Prove that the radius of the snowball is decreasing at a constant rate. I have to work out the RDT. The RDT is the RD something by the something D. Right. And I know the volume, so it's R D V by D V D T. They tell me that the rate at which the volume is decreasing is proportional to its surface area. So that is proportional to some constant times the surface area four pi r squared. The R D V, well I can find that. The volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So therefore, the VDR is equal to 3 times that 4 pi r squared. So therefore, I can now get the RDT, the rate of decrease of the radius, is the RDV by the VDT. If the VDR is that, the RDV is that upside down, 1 over 4 pi r squared times. The VDT, they tell me it depends on the surface area, which is 4 pi r squared. So at some constant times 4 pi r squared, they cancel, which is some c, which is a constant. In other words, the radius is decreasing at a constant rate. For example, every minute it goes down by a tenth, or every minute it goes down by a quarter. In that case, it'll take four minutes to get to the end. That's that part. The next bit, if a snowball loses half its volume in an hour, so this snowball goes from there to there, half its volume, and that, if that's V, that's half the volume, and that takes one hour. Uh, How long will it take for it to melt? Huh? Well, if it loses half its volume in one hour, what has happened already? Here its volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed, if that's its radius. And here the volume is 4 over 3 pi, we'd say r1 to be cubed, where that is r1. <clears throat> now, that volume, so double this volume is the same as that. So twice 4 over 3 pi r1 to be cubed is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Gone, gone, pi's, pi. Twice r1 to be cubed is equal to r cubed. r1 to be cubed is r cubed over 2. So r1 is equal to the cubed root of r cubed over 2, which r1 is equal to r over the cubed root of 2. r1 is equal to the cubed root of 2, the cubed root, oops, the cubed root of 2 is equal to r over 1.2599. So r1 is equal to 1 cancel 1 divided by 1.2599 is equal to r1 is 0.7937 of r. So that means in one hour the radius Last. <coughs> Put that away for a moment. Put a decimal. If 
plus 0.206 of x yes in the next hour it loses another 0.2068 of x so therefore the time for r1 to be zero for the radius to be zero is equal to one divided by point two four six two eight. Okay, so I have one divided by point two four six two eight is equal to four point eight four seven seven. Now each one of those to lose that amount takes an hour. So it's that many. Hours. So that's four hours, and I get that point eight four seven seven times sixty. And tell me how many minutes? Eight hours, four hours, and fifty one minutes for it to go entirely. But the question says, if the snowball loses half its volume in an hour, how long more? From now on, how long will it take? Right. Well, that took one hour, so the rest of it, so the remaining time, is equal to three hours and 51 minutes. And that's how long is 0.8.